Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. I hope you all are doing well. In this video, I will be discussing how to run a unit root test or a series. Let's start with the e views. So this is the command file of e views. Now you need to import your data for which you want to run the unit root test. So go to file, open, open foreign data as work file. So your work file is in e views format. So this is the description of the data. Click on finish. Okay, so you can see your work file shows all the variables in your data file. So in my data file, there was a dependent variable that was carbon dioxide emissions and independent variable were energy consumption, EC, wine is for GDP. So all these variables are converted into log format. Okay. C is for constant. Country is the countries which I have chosen for the study. Then years, residual, that's it. Now, suppose you want to run the unit root test, which is the first step in empirical estimation. Because if your series has a unit root, you can't proceed with the estimation. So we need to check for whether there is a unit root in the data or not. Or in other terms, we see it whether the series is stationary or not. So go to quick, then series statistics and click on unit root test. Now write the name of the series for which you want to run the unit root test. So suppose, first of all, I want to check whether my dependent variable is stationary or not. So I will choose log of carbon dioxide because this is the dependent variable in my data set and I click OK. Now see. Here it is test type where summary is mentioned. So summary basically gives you the test statistics for all the tests available. That is levin lin chu test, m pesarin chin test, individual root fisher test, individual root fisher pp test, all these statistics. So if you want to estimate unit root using a specific test, you can choose that specific test. But if you want a summary statistic for all the tests, you can click on summary. Now, click on level if you want to test for unit root at level. And in this, click on individual intercept. Now, click OK. Now, as you can see, here, the results are shown by E views, they have been estimated by E views. Now, how do we interpret and find out the results? See, the null hypothesis in case of unit root test is that H0, that is null hypothesis, states that there is a presence of unit root in the series, whereas alternative hypothesis states that the series is stationary or there is no unit root. Now, if the probability of the test statistic is greater than 0 0.05, then you reject the alternative hypothesis. That is, you are accepting the hypothesis that is, there is a presence of unit root. Now, we need to check with the probability. So, as you can see, in case of M PSRN test, ADF Fisher chi square test, and PP Fisher chi square test, the probability, all the probabilities are above 0 0.05. It means that there is a presence of unit root in the series. However, 
Levin Menchu test, in case of this, the probability is less than 0 0.05. Now, since we are uh, accepting the hypothesis of unit root because the probability is greater than 0 0.05 and we can't proceed with the estimation. So now what we will do, we'll again go to view unit root test and now instead of level, we will uh, try to find out the unit root test at first difference. E views will calculate the series at first difference and in this third section click on individual intercept and click OK. Now you can see the results have changed. The value of probability in case of the test statistics is less than 0 0.05. You can see AD of Fisher chi-square in case of PP Fisher chi-square test, the value is less than 0 0.05. It means that at first difference, there is no unit root. Okay. Now suppose you want to check unit root for another variable. So again, go to quick, then series statistics and click on unit root test. Now, suppose we want to run unit root test for the second variable, which is the independent variable log of EC, that is energy consumption, which is our independent variable. So we want a summary of all the test statistics. So we will choose summary. First, we want to check unit root at level. So we will choose level and here individual intercept. Click OK. Now you can see in this case also, there is a presence of unit root because probability of all the test statistics except PP Fisher chi-square test is greater than 0 0.05. So we accept null hypothesis of that there is a presence of unit root in the series. Now, since we can't proceed with the estimation, therefore we will check whether there is a unit root at first difference or not. So we will go to view unit root test and instead of level, now we will check at first difference. Click OK. Here also you can see the probability is still greater than 0 0.05. It means that this independent variable is not stationary even at first difference. Now, we need to check again for the series at second difference. So now we will check the unit root for this series at second difference. So click on second difference and OK. Now you can see the results. The results have changed. You can see the probability for all the test statistics is now less than 0 0.05. This means that we are rejecting the hypothesis of unit root and we are accepting the alternative hypothesis which states that the series is stationary or there is no unit true. But while interpreting, you need to mention that this particular series is stationary at level or this particular series is stationary at first difference. Or if some series are stationary at second difference, so you need to mention accordingly because that matters while we are estimating the results. So this is how you can check or run the unit root test for the various series in your data set. And after estimation of unit root, you can proceed with further analysis. So if all the series are stationary either at level or at first difference or at second difference, you can accordingly proceed with your analysis. So this is how you can easily run the unit root test in eViews. I hope you like the video. Thank you very much.